Now, during the attack on Israel, some Hamas terrorists were captured by Israeli police and they've been interrogated by the Israeli security authority. And I can show you tonight, for the first time on air in Australia, what Hamas ordered these terrorists to do and what Hamas promised to give them financially for every Jewish person they captured. The Hamas terrorists said their mission was to kill the men and then to capture women and children. Have a look. So just to be clear, what you're seeing here now for the first time on Australian television are Hamas terrorists who were captured by Israeli security, Israeli police in Israel, being interrogated by the Israeli authorities. These are the admissions that they're making about the orders they were given, how much they were paid to kill Jewish people, and what other incentives were provided to them and their families for carrying out these terror attacks. This next Hamas terrorist said that they were promised $10,000 each and an apartment if they kidnapped a Jewish hostage. Have a look. The captured terrorists speak about setting homes in the kibbutz on fire. They explain in detail how they entered the homes and shot whole families inside. They speak about taking selfies with a 15-year-old girl before kidnapping her. And this next terrorist speaks about shooting an elderly woman. <laughs> Then when the terrorists saw that many Israeli families were rushing into the safe room in their homes, here's what they did. And this family, like most of those who were attacked, had no means to protect or defend themselves at all. Each of the Hamas terrorists in these interrogations, when asked, admit that their religion of Islam prohibits the murder of women and children and babies. They also admit that the acts they committed are no different from ISIS. And then they go on to speak about the Hamas leadership who ordered these atrocities, and they say that they're now living in Qatar and Turkey. The terrorists claim the Hamas leadership abandoned them and instead sought safety in Qatar. And they name the names of all of the leaders who ordered this attack. I would repeat them now, but they're meaningless to all of us. They will mean a lot to the Israeli security, though, to the Mossad. Crucially, the terrorists also gave Israeli officials detailed and valuable information that will be used to attack targets in the Gaza Strip and has already been used. But Israel will clearly need to find a way to destroy the Hamas leadership who've sought safe harbour in Qatar and Turkey.
and the United States should be putting major pressure on the Arab nations to force Hamas to release the 220 hostages that they're still holding captive. With two more hostages released overnight, America now needs to pressure Qatar not just to release the Americans, but to release all of the Jewish hostages, regardless of which passport they hold. Every baby, child, mother and grandmother matters. Hamas targeted the most vulnerable in our community, and it's our job not to forget them and to make sure they're brought home.